I think with AI, I mean, there's a high energy requirement, right, to, to do the, the computing power, literally. By the way, interesting brief the other day showed China's electric capacity compared to the United States, and they, they are like three to one more than us, which if you kind of think long range, okay, if data is the future and chip production and, and AI, you need a lot of you know, power to do that. But I think that the thing is, if you were coming in to brief me, I would want you to provide me an AI vulnerability map, right? That, that said, hey, here's, here's the capability and capacity of the system under these assumptions of location, power generation, you know, and, you know, what model it is, so to speak. And then here are key vulnerabilities in that system. Because what concerns me the most, the most, is what I call the simultaneity of a future conflict or we're attacked in every domain, we're attacked by cyber and we're attacked in space. Because the Chinese, I mean, it's, they're on the road to weaponizing space. And if you bring, and then you have conventional forces that can generate either kinetic or non-kinetic effects, right? So if all of that is happening at the same time, right? Even with AI enhanced decision-making tools, I think it would be, we're gonna get overwhelmed. We have the ability to get overwhelmed. So we need, and I mean this in a positive way, redundant systems, right, as backup, uh, because of the, key, the primary is going to get knocked out. But imagine if you were dealing with a colonial pipeline slash Ukraine attacking the bomber okay, event, and where all that's going on in CONUS, and then you have something going on overseas at the same time. Because in World War II, this, then they did an amazing job in World War II, amazing but it's almost like conflict in slow motion, right? Because it's going over years to get there, right? And I just think today it could it could be over pretty quick. And that, and that, and that guess is always wrong, by the way, because everybody goes, oh, the war won't last that long. We're going to be home by Christmas, but it never works that way. But I think with, with cyber attack, space attack, and then all these, you know, all these other capabilities that they can bring to bear at the same time, that simultaneity, because yeah, the thing in combat and conflict, he who owns the clock wins. He who drives the tempo wins. 